Hey there, camera enthusiasts! There's been a lot of buzz lately about Sony's potential next big thing, the FX3 II. Word on the street is that this bad boy might come packing a global shutter on a video-centric e-mount camera. Now, that's got folks talking. But before we get all worked up, let's dive into what we actually know, what's pure speculation, and whether this camera could really shake things up in the industry. Let's kick things off with the juiciest rumor, that global shutter. If it turns out to be true, the Sony FX3 II could be a real game changer, and honestly, it makes a ton of sense. For those of you who might not be in the know, a global shutter is a big deal in the video world. It's all about saying goodbye to that pesky rolling shutter effect that's been the bane of videographers for ages. Picture this, you're shooting a fast-moving scene, and instead of crisp, clean footage, you end up with wobbly, distorted images. That's rolling shutter for you, folks. If Sony can pull off a global shutter in the FX3 II, we're talking about a massive leap forward for anyone who wants their footage to look sharp and distortion-free, no matter how fast things are moving. But here's the kicker, we're still in rumor territory. As much as we'd love to believe it, Sony hasn't confirmed anything yet. It's easy to get caught up in the hype, but without solid evidence, we're still in the realm of what IFS. That said, the idea of a global shutter on a video-focused E-mount camera is so logical, it's hard not to get a little excited about the possibility. Now, here's where things get really interesting. There's talk that the FX3 II might not just be an upgrade, it could potentially replace the original FX3 altogether. And that's not all, some folks are speculating that this new camera might signal a merger between the beloved A7S series and the FX line. For those who've been following Sony's camera lineup, you'll know that the A7S III, released back in 2020, has been a go-to for videographers. It's been praised for its incredible low-light performance and top-notch video capabilities, but with the FX3 II potentially on the horizon, Sony might be looking to streamline things. At first glance, this merger idea makes sense. The A7S III and FX3 already share a lot of DNA, we're talking 12 megapixel full-frame sensor, beyond XR processor, for K120p recording, and some seriously impressive autofocus skills. The main differences come down to design choices. The A7S III sports an electronic viewfinder, while the FX3 keeps things compact and viewfinder-free, catering specifically to the video crowd. If Sony does decide to bring these two lines together, it could simplify their product range and create a more unified approach to video-centric cameras. But here's the rub, it might not sit well with longtime fans of the A7S series. Since its debut in 2014, the A7S line has been a real revolutionary force in the world of compact, full-frame video cameras. It's always been about marrying exceptional video quality with that familiar Alpha series form factor. Losing that could be a tough pill to swallow for some diehard users. And hey, while we're all waiting for news on the FX3 II, don't forget to keep shooting with whatever gear you've got. At the end of the day, it's not about having the latest and greatest gear, it's about telling great stories and capturing amazing moments.